My name is Faisal Khan. I'm one of a pulmonologist and my main uh, practice is treating lung disorders. Asthma is a disorder of airways in our lungs, which is characterized by a complex interaction of certain environmental and genetic influences, which lead into inflammation of the airways. And that inflammation makes the airways more sensitive to certain triggers like dust, cold, heat, and that leads to swelling in the airways and narrowing of the airways, which can manifest with episodic uh, symptoms of chest tightness, cough, shortness of breath, in varying intensity and frequency. Asthma can develop in anyone, but certainly there are few populations which are at higher risk. For example, age. Asthma is more prevalent in younger population than older population. There's not much difference uh, in terms of uh, sex, uh, in, the, uh, in terms of incidence between male and female, especially between the age of 20 and 40, but certainly it's more prevalent in ma uh, male under the age of 20 and more common in uh, females after the age of 40. Uh, it's more common in people who live in urban settings, uh, people of lower socioeconomic status, uh, people in certain occupations, and uh, certain races have more prevalence, like African American and Latinos have more incidence of asthma than whites. So the common symptoms of asthma are not very specific, but certainly they do raise suspicion for asthma. The common ones are cough, chest tightness, hearing wheezing sound or whistling sounds, shortness of breath, especially in a certain population with exercise. So after exertion of 15 to 20 minutes, if someone feels more short of breath and has those whistling sounds, that should raise suspicion of asthma. There's not much difference uh, between uh, the adults and children in terms of how they present, except in children the incidence of wheezing is more uh, than cough. In adults, ca cough is a predominant, can be a predominant symptom than wheezing. Asthma is a chronic disease. It's a disease characterized by chronic inflammation. So the symptoms can subside, but the asthma itself does not disappear. So someone may have asthma and does not get symptoms for years, but it can always come back. So asthma is uh, diagnosed like with any other disease. It starts with a very comprehensive history and physical examination. There are clues on the history and the exam which a physician should be looking at, which should raise the suspicion of whether someone has asthma or not. The reason I say that is because asthma symptoms are not specific to asthma. Those similar symptoms can happen in other disorders. So as a physician, the job is to kind of identify whether this is truly asthma or something mimicking asthma. That being said, if on history and physical exam there is suspicion for asthma, there is, then there are certain tests that can be run to rule in or rule out asthma. As a, as a doctor, I have to work with the patient to identify what are the triggers for asthma. So some of them are obvious, they are environmental agents. Uh, so you identify those and you tell them techniques how to avoid them or minimize their exposure. Someone may have a cat which they are allergic to and uh, in some cases they may have to get rid of that pet. Similarly with smoking, as long as they're smokers it's gonna keep on inducing the inflammation so the asthma control will be very challenging. The second step is appropriate medications. There are different sets of medications. Some are good at giving immediate relief and some are long-term, which provide control of that inflammation to reduce the severity of the symptoms. Then the third part is proper technique and usage of the inhalers. You may prescribe someone an inhaler or a medicine, but if they're not using that inhaler with a proper technique, it's not gonna benefit them. And then the fourth part is educating the patients enough so that they identify how to monitor their symptoms and when to uh, get a sense of an asthma attack or a flare-up coming. And sooner you intervene, uh, the better the chances of controlling the asthma.